guys are here today i'm doing the eureka math grade 4 model 3 lesson 25 homework so let's get started a student used a sieve of eratosthenes Aristos, uh, it's a little tricky to pronounce to find all prime numbers less than 100. create a step-by-step -step set of directions to show how it was completed use the word bank to help guide your thinking as you write the directions some words may be used just once, more than once, or not at all. So first thing how to create this, we start with one and we make sure to shade out one. Um, we shade one to another color to show that one is different because one is not a prime number nor a composite number. So step one would be to shade the number one like red or something to show it's not prime nor composite. So that would be step one. Now step two, after you do that, we move on to the next number we see, which is two. So two would be a prime number. So two, move on to two and circle it to show it's prime. And then after that, then cross out all multiples of two because all multiples of two would be um a composite number because it has at least another factor that's two number three well number three you really just keep on moving on um to you keep on moving on so number three keep circling the next prime numbers and cross off their multiples pretty much until the whole chart is filled. And after that, I guess you can shade in the um, composite numbers. Then shade the composite numbers. So yeah. All right, next page. Number two, what do all of the numbers that are crossed out have in common? Well, all the numbers that are crossed out, they all have at least one, um, they all are multiples of prime numbers. So yeah. They're all multiples of prime numbers. So they are all composite. Our right, number three says, what do all of the circle numbers have in common? So all the circle numbers, they are prime numbers. So meaning they have no other factors. So they are all prime and have no other factors besides one and itself. And four says there is one number that is neither crossed out nor circled, which is the number one. So why is it treated differently? So the number one 
is special because it only has one factor and doesn't so only has one factor so the number is prime it only has one and the number itself so meaning therefore a prime number has um two factors but then the number one it's only one times one so one only has one factor so it's not prime but it's also not composite because it doesn't have more than two factors because to be composite you need multiple factors so um, number one is special because it only has one factor and doesn't have multiple. So it's not prime or a composite. So yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.